AP graders of reddit, what are the most greatest ridiculous funny things you have seen on a test you are grading? Not me, but my comp C teacher was a grader in 2016, and he said he had kids write notes to him saying I can't take the test since my teacher taught me the wrong language but I have to sit for the exam kind of thing. I'm taking that test Tuesday, thanks for that. My high school AP English teacher was a grader. He once read an essay that was just the lyrics to Lab Amber and that was it. Not a grader, but a note to all you seniors out there taking AP exams. If you strike through anything like this, it can't be graded so you can write whatever you want. You can even put the lyrics to Lab Amber in your essay without penalty, so long as it's struck through. Grader here, I once got a hastily drawn caricature of what I assume was the student. With I ran out of time for this part written above it, and time runs out for even the fastest men written on the bottom. Emphasis on the hasty part, by the way, as this was clearly done in under 2 minutes. I think he tried to draw the flash or quicksilver. My teacher is a grader for AP literature. Apparently once he had an incredibly detailed drawing of a toilet with $100 going down the drain. My dad used to grade AP government tests. The week of the exams in my class he would show us some of the funnier responses to make us feel better and more confident. I had him for both AP US history as well as government. It has been many years but my favorite response he saw was politics originates from Latin. Poly meaning men and ticks being bloodsuckers. I don't even remember the question the student responded to, but I still remember the response. I think it's funnier if you go with the real Latin meaning of the poly which I believe is city. So the ticks that suck the blood out of the city. My Apush teacher said he read an essay that was just the lyrics of All Star by Smashmouth. The kicker is that he had to read every word of it. Hey now you're a classier. My AP world teacher grades and once told me that a student just turned in a paper that says I never learned this just fail me. For his DBQ. I took AP World Test the year the DBQ was based on cricket. Wild ride. Not an AP grader, but, I had finished with a good 20-30 minutes left on the clock and hadn't written anything on the booklet other than a dash next to Huck Finn which was the book I actually wrote about. The topic was something along the lines of comparing the main character to a minor character foil or something like that. I knew that my AP English teacher would get the booklet section of the test back, the part with the questions where you could jot out your notes. My friend and I had spent most of the semester chatting about how great of a bookender's game was, which repeatedly got her to remind us that Orson Scott Card's best known piece of literature was not a credible literary work and should not be used on the test. Of course, this means I spend my remaining time thinking of all of the relevant comparisons of Ender and Bonzo Madrid's relationship. I fill out every inch of the page I can with nonsense parallels to their personalities and actions, referencing back to the other events in the series and how they interrelated. On the day she got the booklets back I was out for another test. Apparently she was literally furious, shouting I can't believe he did that over and over again. Un. Fortunately I had told a friend about what I had done so she was let in on the bit and calmed down. The next day when I walked in I got a very funny and the most moderately miffed voice she could muster. I've heard from students who had her in later years that I am now a cautionary tale story student that she tells classes about. Not a grader. A friend and I took the AP Italian exam a few years back. There was a persuasive essay section. We were given three sources that we had to reference in the essay. Two of the sources were written, and one was audio. My friend and I couldn't even understand the prompt, let alone the audio source, but we were able to translate a few words here and there. We both figured out that the prompt had something to do with the birth rates in Italy over the last 20 years. I tried my best to write a good essay, but my friend just wrote an essay about how babies in Italy are aging at a dramatic rate of one year per year, and if this trend continued then all the current babies would eventually grow up and we would run out of babies. His proposed solution was to grind some babies down into baby powder and use the baby powder to create new babies. Neither of us passed. I taught English in Thailand for an advanced immersion school. Plagiarism was rampant. One kid turned in an essay on sea slugs that changed mid-paragraph to the Wikipedia entry for the British surface to their missile. Not the animal. I just about died laughing. Smooth. Not a grader, but I had a friend who was running out of time on the AP Physics C so for the last question he wrote, 
Oh god why? In big letters across the page. Still got a 5. Most likely because the curve for AP Physics C tests is like, 55% or higher is a 5. Absurdly high curve. I wrote. What did one physicist say to the other? 3.0x10 circumflex 8 MSU later. I feel as though my 2 on that test was a little high. I was in Apush around 10 years ago. At the time. I'm not sure if this is still the case or not. You could omit anything from your essay portion by striking one line through it. So a misspelled word or name or whatever could be quickly erased without spending time actually erasing it. Well. Around this time. The movie 300 came out. There was sort of this national joke movement to write this is Sparta in all caps somewhere in your essay, and then put a line through it. After the summer, we asked our teacher, who was also a grader, if he came across any of these. He said that it was so prevalent that on the last day of grading, whenever someone came across one, they would stand up in the middle of the quiet grading hall and shout out this is Sparta before sitting back down and continuing to grade as if nothing had happened. I always got a kick out of that. You can still do that. It's on the booklet they give you. Anything you cross out isn't taken into account for grading. I was taking an AP environmental science test, and the essay was something about what happens when a large tree dies in a faucet ecosystem. I forget the specifics. My essay started like this if a tree dies in the forest, and no one is around to hear the sound, it makes as big of an impact on the ecosystem as it does the ground. I then proceeded to answer the question and finished with a crappy drawing of a tree. For some reason, they gave me college credit for that essay. AP Lang teacher here to reassure you that this starter sentence is an excellent example of a strong exordium that demonstrates control of your writing voice at mastery level. Don't dismiss it. Celebrate it. Not an AP grader, but I had a kid writing about an old trial in which a group of young black boys were accused of raping two women. One of these boys was sentenced to 99 years in prison for rape. However, what one student wrote was he was sentenced to 99 years of rape. Well, things happen in prisons. My Apush teacher said one of the best he'd seen was I have no idea what's going on but the teacher was a MILF so it was worth it. No idea if it's true though. Legend. Not a grader but I feel like my username is highly relevant, especially tomorrow. I'm taking an AP Calc test Tuesday, so I feel your pain. My Apush teacher grades. Aside from one word mix up like the Jimi Hendrix laws, she had a kid on one of the DBQs who wrote I know nothing about the topic being tested on so I'm going to tell you about Jesus for the next two pages. There was also a kid who wrote a suicide note, which was way less funny. They had to use a little info on the back of the book to track them and their district down. A few districts out there mandate and subsidize Apush, so you get all kinds of strange and horrifying and nonsensical answers. Apush means AP US history if you don't know. I was taking the AP physics exam and didn't know at all about one of the problems. It said to explain your thinking, though, and to use diagrams to help in your explanation. I could work with that. I explained all I could about the neurological process of thinking. I drew a diagram of the brain as a whole and of an individual neuron to help. I filled the page. Got a 4. You earned that mate. I was a co-worker with the T from one of my biology classes and he told our group that this one kid wrote, don't do it at the top of the test just above the first question. Not a grader, but had a friend who took AP art history with me, on the free response section he had to analyze a modern piece, and he, being French, instead wrote 4 pages on how modern art is not art, he got a 5 on the exam. Took this year's AP art history test on Tuesday, the yaxtal and lintel sack made me want to start crying. I was the student taking an AP music theory exam my senior year of high school. A big part of the test was sight singing, which I had absolutely no interest in. So I recorded my own rendition of Bad Romance by Lady Gaga and handed it in. I did well enough on the rest of the exam to just barely get to college credit. Credit is credit, that's all that matters. I got a 2 on my BC Calc score but I got a 4 on the ab and that got me out of college math class altogether. My AP Lit and Comp teacher was an AP grader for a while. Her favorite story to tell was about the third essay that requires you to choose a book of higher literary merit to write about. 
The essay started off within the Bible, by God. You would think that someone able to write enough about the Bible would know God didn't write it. Obligatory not an AP grader but I had a friend who took the AP English Lit exam and completely made up a play written by Tennessee Williams. Made up the plot, the characters, the symbolism, everything, and got a 5 on the exam. Apparently Williams was so prolific and disorganized that people aren't totally sure about his full body of work or something, so the grader probably just thought that was one they hadn't heard of and wanted to save face. Also, fun fact, anything that you write and then strike through is not allowed to be graded. Apparently that Tennessee Williams essay had a couple of references to Robocop that were very legible still, but had to be ignored. My AP environmental science teacher was a grader and showed us pictures of a girl writing all about her breakup with her boyfriend for 6 pages instead of fish and trees and crap. Truly a magnificent emotional appeal. Did not deserve a 1. Pretty sure AP graders aren't allowed to take pictures. Your teacher is a fugitive. Not a grader but I took the AP lit test my senior year and the last essay was an open question where you were supposed to pick a book and analyze its themes. I was like a week away from graduating and I hadn't exactly read a book in a while. Thanks Spark Notes. So I wrote a very lengthy, in-depth analysis of The Dark Knight. I got a 4 and I'm pretty sure the reason I didn't get a 5 was because I spelled Jonathan Nolan's name wrong. E. I know it's a Christopher Nolan movie. I'm a huge Nolan fan. The movie was co-written by both Christopher and Jonathan Nolan. On a literature test you generally want to list the authors. My friend did an essay about Captain Underpants, and got a 5. Not me but I was hanging out with my AP world history teacher after class while he was grading essays. Someone wrote Caucasian and kept with it. Teacher circled it and wrote WTF above it. Not a grader, but I wonder what the grader thought of my AP world history test. I essentially wrote Ferdinand and Isabella fan fiction about them going on a spring break trip together because I wasn't sure how to answer the question. I was shocked when I got a 3 on the test. I hope I have the same grader as you next week. I'm not a grader, but my friend took AP music theory, the final involved sight singing a melody, and he fricked up right in the middle of it. So he just beatboxed for a bit afterwards. He got a 2 on it, which was higher than we thought it would be. My heart sunk when I saw AP Music Theory, I just remembered that the test is on Monday. Not AP, but standardized testing for mid-lescolars. There's an essay question that's been around at least since I was in middle school where students read an article about how schools are replacing the candy in vending machines with healthy foods, and then students are asked to write an argument for or against it. A large amount of students think that their school is actually going to change the vending machines and get really upset about it. My favorites I've read involve threatening that the students will go on strike, students will refuse to eat their lunches until the vending machines are changed, and that students will start a black market at lunch for trading unhealthy food brought from home. Well I'm not an AP grader, but I scored a 5 by regurgitating some random crap about First Nations people that I had heard on Reddit the day before. Thanks guys. If you're gonna balls on an exam, then you gotta sell that balls. I've heard of kids writing extremely detailed, well written essays based on pure balls and getting a good grade on it. During our AP US history test, the question was something like, how did the Great Awakening lead to the settlement of many towns by person? I don't know exactly what it was. My friend's answer went something like, the Great Awakening rose person and his crew from a deep slumber and they decided to found the towns of old. Meanwhile I wrote the entire lyrics to rap god. My AP teacher told me he read an essay by this guy explaining that his high school required him to take the AP test, but it didn't matter to him since he was going into the military and had already been accepted. Guy then proceeded to write about his car, his girlfriend, his dog, and other various aspects of his life. Not an AP grader, but I took the AP chemistry exam after I'd already committed to a school that wouldn't accept the credit, so instead of answering any of the questions, I created a crossword puzzle complete with a list of clues. I imagine whatever poor teacher graded that test was a bit confused. Drawing of a dragon was my personal favorite instead of answering the question. They were a good artist but that was it. 
When I took the AP stats test when I was in high school, I finished super early so went back and wrote the plot of Dragon Ball in all the empty space then struck it out so it couldn't be graded. Got a 5. Obligatory not an AP grader. I took AP environmental sciences and if I recall correctly you only had to answer 3 or 4 of the 5 essay prompts. And they took the highest score of 2 or 3 of them. I don't remember exactly. But basically there was an extra question that I had to answer to qualify for a 3 and above. But didn't have to be well written or relevant. The question was something like please explain how coral can spread at this rate in this temperature water off the southern coast of the US etc and I just responded number. I got a 5, I think. This was years ago. I took the apes test today, that's not a thing anymore. Sounds glorious. I didn't grade AP tests, but rather state standardized tests for elementary schoolers. Every so often. One of them is aware enough to realize that a real person has to grade the short response parts, and would write hello to this in the unused space. Pretty astute for second and third graders. It always made me smile during what was otherwise the most mind-numbingly boring job I've ever had. I always wanted to do this, but was too scared I'd get points off. Call me paranoid, but I've met people who would deduct points, although I've been fortunate enough to never have one of these people as a teacher. My AP physics teacher, in preparing us for the test, told us that he wrote on his own AP test I refuse to accept that anyone knows the answer to this. Not a grader but since single line crossouts are supposed to be ignored by graders, every single student in my Apush class wrote Bush did 9-11 and crossed it out mid-sentence at some point in our essays. The college I was accepted to wouldn't give credit for both AP Lang and AP Lit and I knew I crushed the Lang exam so for one of the Lit essays I just wrote a recipe for flaming alcohol shots. As I write this I realize how ironic that was. I grade for AP Human Geography. They were supposed to describe primary sector work, which is primary work getting resources from the land, agriculture, fishing, mining, lumber. These jobs are often done by hand in developing countries. He referred to the as hand jobs. Also there was a girl who spent two pages talking about how on a college visit she got a tattoo without her parents knowledge and she was worried her brother was going to snitch. Not a grader but I still remember some of my AP exams. Most of them are just a blur of stress. My economics teacher was a horrible horrible teacher and I lasted only one semester in the class. Long enough to meet the econ graduation requirement to have to take one of the econ AP exams. My school was one of those that paid for your tests but required you to take it or you didn't get the high GPA value that came with taking an AP class. So I had to take the exam. But they couldn't make me study for it. When it came to the essay Q&A section, I drew a supply and demand curve and doodled smiley faces all over my answer booklet. Ahahaha. <laughs> supply and demand curves. On my exam for normally Khan, I mixed up the X and Y axes. Made a 60 flat out on that exam. Not a grader, but I have a few stories about the AP Physics, E and M exam from 2005. I took the exam, realized about 5 minutes into the exam that I had no idea what I was reading or, apparently, anything about E and M so I left the non multiple choice questions blank and put my head down for 40 minutes. My friend had mentally checked out of that school year, did zero studying for the exam, and drew three different variations of the Superman logo for his short answer problems. It may have been more effective to write B on all of the non-multiple choice questions, because the answer is always B. Not an AP grader, but I dropped the F-bomb multiple times in the AP Spanish exam spoken response section because I was so flustered at the time constraints. Whoever graded my exam probably got a good laugh at how crappy my speaking skills were. My current AP physics teacher graded last year. She said she had one test that was filled to the brim with glitter, and another where someone stapled $5 to the test to try and bribe them. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
bye for now.